Uh, so let me ask you about, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say it without laughing. Sarah Palin. So, well, can I have three specific questions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> One, what was it like when you first met her? <laughs> Two, did the winking get on your nerves? <laughs> and three, when did you want to just pop her? Okay. All right, folks, welcome to Gimme Five. There it is, the new view, or maybe the new zoo review, whatever. Remember that show, the new zoo review for kids? Anyway, um, a bastion of liberalism, even with Nicole Wallace sitting there, who worked for Sarah Palin, worked for the McCain campaign, of course, worked for George W. Bush at one point, um, and has since gone on to trash Sarah Palin nonstop. And now it's the first topic of conversation on the new view. That was uh, Nicole Wallace and Rosie Perez. When did you want to pop her? Oh, that's so funny. Isn't that nice? Pop her. We're talking about violence against women. And the first question out of the box is, when did you want to hit Sarah Palin? To a woman, albeit, but nonetheless. Isn't that great? Hey, that's liberalism for you. Just ignore it. If it's got a little D next to it, it's sick, sick. And here's more. Well, I had an emergency, uh, what's it called, root canal. I was on Vicodin, and I'm so like, good. it must be the drugs, but I have no idea who this is. Uh, yeah. um, so I went out, this one, what did we go with? Um, so she was pretty cool the first time I met her, but, but our relationship really erupted and exploded, and it was irreparably damaged after the Katie Kirk interview when she thought I would set her up for failure, and I felt like, you know, the questions were pretty fair. She asked her what she read, you know, so, so that, that was sort of the end of the end. Yeah, all right. So, you know, the Katie Couric interview, the disaster where Couric grilled her, name, what do you read, name books, blah, 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 this, that, you know, the whole thing. Anyway, um, one more on this segment here. When I met Nicole and I knew all about what she had done in her life and career, very impressive, I had one question. I said, was it your idea to have George Bush do a flyby over Katrina? Yeah. And tell everybody what you said. <laughs> well, I was getting married. She I wasn't her. Was she was in peace. She was getting married. Now. It was it not her. Yeah, Rosie's back, in case you haven't noticed. Rosie's back, a slimmed-down version, but the same old Rosie. Make no mistake about it. You want an example? Here we go. What's interesting to me is that we, as a country, support football, uh -huh. and they've had studies that show it's life-threatening to every player. They have traumatic brain injuries. They're taking steroids, which really changes their judgment. They're encouraged and paid to be violent. Same with fighters, with boxers. They live in an arena of, it would be wonderful if they were able to separate the violence of their job with the violence in their life, but I don't think that's how human brains work. Right, because Rosie, you're a brain surgeon. I'm glad to see you're still a brain surgeon because every NFL player is beating somebody at home, right? So they can't separate what they do on their, the field and what they do at home because they're all beating somebody. I just, you know, I'm so sick of this. One more here. And believe me, I don't excuse any violence towards anyone. Uh -huh. yeah. But okay, I do what? understand how a guy who knocks people over and pushes them down for a living and uh -huh. gets cheered uh -huh. might do that in his private life, even though it's wrong. Yeah, you understand how a man who pushes people down and gets cheered for, on the football field might do it in his private life, even though it's wrong? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Who's a liberal? Who's a conservative? That is ridiculous. But it's coming from the mouth of Rosie. And here's one more. Not necessarily, because, you know, Nelson Mandela was a boxer. Wow. I okay, and he was the most peaceful man you know, on right. this planet. So that's not necessarily true. It may be true for a lot, but it's not true for all. Oh, she brought up Nelson Mandela, who was a boxer. Now, I'll, let's take her at her word. I have no idea. And he was the most peaceful man in the world. Well, n not always, but let's put that aside as well. She actually shut Rosie up. What's Rosie going to do? Start trashing Nelson Mandela? You know, she can't do that. And, 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 and how, how bizarre that, that she felt she had to bring up an example to refute Rosie. Any, any kind of rebut would have done. Okay, folks. Newsmax Now updates next.